Yo, what's up everyone? Today we got the new Motorola 2019 or 2020 Razer, whichever you want to go by, and we're going to be taking it apart. Alright, first you want to heat the back up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the back plate. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool so you don't damage the frame. And you're going to have to get in between this plastic back and the frame of the phone and just work your way around so you can loosen up the adhesive and pry off the back. I'm just going to close the flip to make it a little bit easier to work with. All right, so just slide it down gently, but be careful. You still have that cable for the fingerprint reader over here attached. You have to somehow slide it out with a small tool out of its connector. Alright, next you have four T4 screws you need to remove on the front, located here. Go ahead and remove those screws. Now once those screws are removed, you're going to slide this bottom plastic cover off. This is the antenna assembly down here. You see the lines running through this plastic right here and stuff. Just be careful this cable is still attached underneath it to the board, so don't pull it all the way off. I have to disconnect it from the board. So here's a closer look at that antenna assembly and your loudspeaker you have down here. Now there's a black plastic bracket over here. It's covering the connector for the battery and this antenna right here. Let's go ahead and remove this bracket. Now go ahead and disconnect the battery cable. Pop it up. Now we're going to pry this battery off. Let's use a plastic pry tool or a preferably a membership card so you can get all the way underneath it without damaging the battery. Here's a closer look at the battery. Now next we're going to disconnect this cable right here. Just pop it up. And we're also going to disconnect the cable for the screen. Now you're left with eight T4 screws on this side you have to remove. Go ahead and remove those screws. Now go ahead and flip the phone over. You have one T4 screw over here on the vibrator motor you have to remove. Now go ahead and disconnect the cable underneath the vibrator motor. And 
you also have your cable over here for your microphone. Your microphone's located right there. You have to disconnect this cable. And then you're gonna lift your main board. Slide out just a little bit, be careful those cables underneath it still. You're gonna flip it over. So those cables right here, attached. You're gonna have to disconnect those. All right, so here's your main board. You have a charger port here, a liquid damage indicator right there. Here's the back side. So here's the back of the board with the shield removed. There's two thermal pads over here, and there's a copper tape with a what looks like a graphite heat transfer tape over it. Here's a closer look at that. All right, so you got three more T4 screws on the lip of the phone. There's one here, one in the middle, and one on this corner. Go ahead and remove those. All right, next, go ahead and heat the top of the phone or the front flip, the top part that opens up. And then you're gonna use a plastic pry tool to work your way around the edges. But be careful, there's a cable over here underneath that you don't wanna damage. So try not to go in too deep, but I already took this apart once, so I'm letting you guys know it's pretty difficult taking the adhesive off over here. You're gonna to have to use a lot of heat throughout the process as you're taking it off and prying it off. You're just going to work your way around. So you got some cables over here you're gonna have to disconnect. So this right here is gonna be your outside display. And it's glued basically onto the outside plastic. So on the top flip, you have 95 screws you need to remove. Go ahead and remove those. Once you got those screws removed, the screen is gonna separate from the frame on the top. But be careful, there's a cable still attached over here. You're gonna have to disconnect. All right, next you're gonna disconnect this cable right here. And you got two T4 screws, one here, and one here you have to remove. Go ahead and remove those. Once those are removed, you can lift up. The assembly, but be careful, the battery's still attached underneath it right there. You're gonna have to disconnect that. At this point, you can remove your camera assembly. So here's a closer look at that. You also have a liquid damage indicator right there. Here's your front facing camera. Now we're gonna gently peel this flex cable that's attached to the battery with some adhesive. All 
Alright, so next, you're going to pry off this metal piece right here. We already removed the screws on that earlier, so there's two magnets on this side, which are pretty strong holding it down, and some adhesive on each corner. So just pry it off. Once you remove that, you're going to want to gently pry the screen cable off the back metal plate. Make sure you don't tear the cable. Now you're going to gently just slide the screen towards the bottom of the phone and slide the whole assembly out. So here's basically the metal frame. Put your hinge over here. And here's your screen with the additional battery over here on top. Your earpiece right there. That's how thin it is. It's a paper thin. Well, there you go, guys. That's the new Razer phone disassembled, and now it's time to put it back together. I should mention before you screw down the main board with these four screws make sure you, this latch over here for that connector for the fingerprint reader is in the open position which is facing up not pushed down so make sure it's up so whenever you're putting the phone back together at the end when you slide the fingerprint reader portion in you'll be able to push the cable in and then lock it phone and you're done thanks again for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video